Welcome to a topic that's often debated, mostly decided. And the question today is, is my tap water killing my fish? We all know keeping our water healthy is just as important as keeping our fish healthy. You set up your tank. You take care not to put in anything in the way of substrate or decorations that might poison the fish. If you have to clean your tank, say with bleach, you wash it down over and over again until there's nothing left. But you then add the one product that might actually kill them. Your tank itself may be glass, plastic, or you might be a pond keeper, but your fish live in water. They breathe the water, sadly they put their waste into the water, and their entire lives is spent within that. But for so many of us, the water that we put in is toxic to them in more ways than one. The ecosystem in your tank is at risk from the seemingly harmless substance that you put in every time you do a water change. Before modern treatments, drinking water killed thousands each year. Not the water itself, but the bacteria you can find within the water. This means it has to be treated to make it safe for us to drink, to remove things like E. coli. This treatment is chlorine. You might be more familiar with chlorine as bleach or a toxic gas that was used in chemical warfare, but in small amounts, it's a treatment that saves thousands of lives each year. Chlorine easily escapes from the water as a gas. Hence why the old advice used to be, leave your water in a bucket outside overnight and it'll be perfectly safe the next morning. To make it more suitable as a treatment and less likely to escape, Water treatment centres now add ammonia to the chlorine. This makes chloramine. Yes, ammonia, that other nightmare we all have. This chloramine is a disinfectant that hangs around far longer than chlorine. So no more leaving a bucket out overnight to make things safe. Whatever your water has chlorine or chloramine, this is still a disinfectant. In much smaller amounts, but still the same bleach that you might pour down the toilet to make things clean. And it doesn't distinguish between E. coli, typhoid, or that precious filter bacteria that keeps everything in your tank safe. You can take your aquarium from fully cycled and safe to fish to an ammonia-filled toxic soup in just one big water change. And the ammonia is not coming from the chloramine, but from the fact that your filter bacteria is now dead and no longer converting the harmful ammonia into safer nitrates. If that all sounds a bit foreign to you, check out our other videos on how to cycle your aquarium. So why is this chlorine safe for us to drink, but not for fish? Well, firstly, the filter bacteria, but secondly, we drink the water with those trace amounts of chlorine in it. it goes through our stomach, which has powerful acids and is harmlessly dissipated by our body. Fish don't drink water, they breathe it. Taking these gases into their delicate gills and from there into their bloodstream itself. Just like World War I soldiers in the trenches, some may survive this toxic gas attack, but in the meantime they suffer. But never fear, there is a cheap and easy solution. Its chemical name is sodium thiosulfate. You don't even have to remember that name. Any fish store is going to sell you a product known as dechlorinator. Might go under the name of Tapsafe or Aquasafe or Prime or Seachem safe, any of those. This changes toxic chlorine into harmless products. The better ones block up the ammonia from chloramine until your filter can convert it from harmful ammonia into much less harmful nitrates. But there aren't any chemicals in the wild, you might say. I'm not putting them in my tank. Except they don't dump disinfectants into natural ecosystems. And if they did, we'd be saying that was wrong. In effect, you are removing a harmful product by adding a safer one. Above all else, this is a small step and a really easy one to make in keeping your fish and their ecosystem happy and healthy. If you want to learn more, check down in the description for links to our website, where there are courses on how to keep your fish safe, information. Head on over to Facebook and join our group. And remember, we have a Twitter account as well for you to enjoy.